Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm one of the product managers here at Silence. In this session, I'm going to be talking about how do you convert a PKCS12 file that you receive from your internal certificate authority or a third-party certificate authority into a separate certificate and private key files that you can then install on your Silence Hybrid and Silence On-Prem. We're going to be using an open source utility called OpenSSL. You can download this from the internet and install it on either your Windows desktop, Mac OS, or Linux. So the first step is we're going to extract the certificate from the PFX file. From the directory where you have your certificate or PKCS12 file, you're going to issue the OpenSSL command that will extract your, your certificate. So here's my OpenSSL command. It takes in as an input the PFX file and it will put out as a, a certificate file on its own without any private keys. It will ask you for the password. This is a password that came with your PFX file when you were given. So go ahead and enter the password. Now I have my certificate file as a standalone certificate file. The next step is to extract your private key from your PFX file. So the command that you'll be using is shown here on the DOS prompt. Again, it's going to be the PFX file is going to be your input file, and the private.key file is going to be the key file that, um, that gets generated. It's going to ask for your password similar to the, the previous step, so go ahead and enter your password. Now this time it's going to ask you to create a passphrase, essentially a password. Go ahead and put in something that you'll remember because we're actually going to remove it in the next step. And now you can see that I have my certificate file and also my private key. Now the third step is you're going to remove the passphrase or password from your private key. The command we'll be using is shown here. It will take in your private key that is password protected and it will output a private key without the password. It's going to ask for you the passphrase. This is the passphrase that you generated in the previous step. And now I have my certificate as a separate file and my private key as a separate file that is not password protected, and I can now use it to install on my Silence Hybrid and Silence On-Prem. Thanks for viewing this session.